have you ever worked on a room with multiple flooring areas? For example, a room may have both carpet and tile, but you only need to work on the tile. In Xactimate, the tiled portion is called a reference area. To use a reference area in this project, I want to add a tile area to the entry of my sketch. To start, I'll navigate to the Tools tab in the Estimate screen. I'll click the Reference Area button. With the tool loaded, I'll move my cursor to the entry of my sketch. I want to get as close as I can to the area, so I'm going to zoom in. I'll left-click and drag the cursor to the size I want the reference area to be. I can also use the Square Break tool to create an offset in the reference area. Under the Reference Area Properties, I can adjust the behavior of the tile area. If the auto stretch is set to yes, the sides of the reference area stay connected to a wall when the dimensions of a room are changed. If the whole field is marked yes, the reference area will indicate an actual hole in the floor of the room. This changes the estimate's flooring removal variable for the entire room. For example, this is a good option if you need to create a hole in the floor that allows stairs through. In properties, Use the Algorithm Flooring Hole option to account for holes in flooring such as cabinets, tubs, and toilets. Unlike the hole field, this option only deducts for carpet and vinyl flooring and does not count that area as an actual hole. Algorithm Flooring Hole only appears when No is selected. Switching the Algorithm Flooring Hole to Yes converts the reference area to an opening for carpet, resilient, and vinyl flooring items. And that's it! You can now create and change the properties of a reference area in Xactimate.